What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going through all the mistakes that I see players making when they go through this Bounty Hunter role. Since the Frontier Pursuits update I've been watching a lot of different streams of people playing through Red Dead Online and I've seen them go into this Bounty Hunter role and I've seen them make these mistakes. By avoiding these mistakes you're able to make a lot more money within this game. Before I get into the mistakes for the Bounty Hunter I have already done mistakes for the Collector and also the Trader. I'll leave links to both of them in the description down below as well as there'll be cards on the screen right now which you can click and that will take you straight to those videos. The first mistake I see players making isn't something that will make you that much money but will save you a bit of time here and there and it's probably more of a mistake on Rockstar's end of why it's like this but you can buy a reinforced lasso but it doesn't actually replace the lasso you already have. All it does is put another lasso in your loadout and in most cases most players don't see the difference. Most players are rushing in the moment trying to get their lasso out so they can quickly capture this bounty and they end up using just the normal lasso and not the reinforced lasso. The reinforced lasso is a lot stronger and it takes a lot more time for the NPC to break free of it, meaning it gives you more than enough time to go off and do your very own thing. The second mistake that I see players making, and it's going to be something that a lot of you guys will think I'm contradicting the first point I've just made about using the reinforced lasso and not the normal lasso, but the second mistake is that players aren't knocking out their NPCs, their bounties, so they can storm on the back of their horse. By knocking an enemy out, it means that you don't have to worry about them breaking free of the lasso and jumping off the back of your horse and it also counts as them still being alive so you can still get the maximum amount of reward when you deliver them to the sheriff. Now like I said you're probably thinking that I contradicted myself by saying to use the reinforced lasso and then to knock them out. At that point you're now thinking that it doesn't really matter what lasso you use. No it doesn't really matter which one you use at the early stage if you're going to go for a tier 1 or a tier 2 where you only have to get one or two different bounties at the same time. It's not too difficult to manage that with a normal lasso but you're definitely going to be wanting to use that reinforced lasso once you go for those tier 3 bounties especially when there's say four maybe even six different bounties that you have to get you'll find yourself quickly running around lassoing one dropping them hog tying them and then quickly running onto the very next bounty just so that you can go around collecting every single one of them making sure that they do not run away and then you can put them in the bounty wagon the reason i tell you to do it for the tier 1 and tier 2 bounties is so that it becomes muscle memory so that once it does come to tier 3 you're not accidentally using the normal lasso as you're going around hog tying everyone and by the time you've gone all the way around hog tied everyone the first two people that you very first hog tied have managed to escape and run away and you've lost them once you have used the reinforced lasso for the tier 3 bounties you can then put them in the bounty wagon which they will not escape or if you're part of a posse you can knock them out put them on the back of the horses and then take them to the sheriff's office the third mistake that i've seen players making is that they progress through this bounty roll they manage to get all the money they manage to get all the legendary bounties they buy a bounty bounty wagon and then they use that bounty wagon for tier 1 bounties. This is completely pointless. The bounty wagon is not that easy to handle especially once it goes off road. It's actually very bad. The world of Red Dead Online isn't actually made for some of these bounties. You'll find yourself literally crossing rivers. Rivers where there is paths and you can go through it normally on the back of a horse but as soon as you take a wagon across it unfortunately the horse just dies, the wagon just died, you get thrown off the back and then you have to call your horse. It is not good and trying to do this for some of the tier 1 bounties, it just takes twice as long as if you were going to use a normal horse, so it's definitely not worth it. The fourth mistake I see players making when they go through this bounty hunter role is that they do not take their time. Just like with anything within Red Dead Online and also GTA for that matter, the longer it takes for you to do something within this game, the more money, gold and XP you get. So the quicker you do something, and in this case the quicker you collect the bounty and deliver them to the sheriff, the less money, gold and XP you get, and you do not want that. I've done a lot of videos on this channel showing you how much money you can make by going through this bounty hunter role and just taking your time with it. I'll leave a card on the screen right now which you can click on which will take you to one of those videos. But instead of just going to a location, picking up the bounty and then bringing them back to the sheriff's office, what I normally do is go to that location, pick up the bounty and then I just go off do a bit of hunting or I go and pull out my metal detector if you are high enough rank to buy a metal detector and have enough money definitely do it and I just pull that out and try to find as many different collectibles as possible. When the timer starts to go down to those last couple of minutes I start heading over to the sheriff's office and then I go and deliver that bounty within the last 30 seconds. That means I'm maximizing the most amount of money, gold and XP that I can possibly get out of the bounty. On top of that I can then go to Madame Nazar, sell all the collectibles that I managed to get or I can go over to the camp and give cribs all the animal parts that I managed to collect or finally I could go over to the butcher and sell all the animal parts that I managed to collect. That way I'm not just making money through a bounty hunter role but I'm also making money in other ways. 
And the final big mistake that I see players making is that they are not looting the bodies. Just like the previous point of taking your time, this also comes into that of taking your time to loot the bodies. Looting bodies has always given very decent things and it has given you the chance to get other stuff as well. But now, since the Frontier Pursuits update, there's even more stuff that you can get for looting bodies and I see a lot of people not doing it. Just for looting bodies, you're able to get yourself money, ammo, tonics, treasure maps, jewelry, collectibles, and also animal parts. But the real thing you're looking out for is treasure maps and also collectibles. It seems like since the summer update, there's been an increase in chance of you able to get treasure maps from looting bodies. Likewise, getting a collectible as well is actually pretty decent. You probably get a collectible every 10 times you loot a body, which is actually a very good return, especially when they can go anywhere from just a couple dollars all the way up to around about 20, 27 dollars. So make sure when you do kill people to collect this bounty, you make sure that you are looting everyone you kill, as well as you can loot the bounty itself, even if they are alive. But anyway, guys, those are the mistakes that I see players making whilst they go down this bounty hunter role. If you guys have any more tips, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. Cecilia. So